Hello friends, two hours ago I decided to join a Muslim live stream on TikTok, hoping to have a civilized debate with some stone-kissing Muslims. I joined one of the biggest channels on TikTok. I wanted to throw myself in a pit filled with muzi snakes and see what might happen next. Muslims won't even allow me to speak the moment they see my name on their guest list because you need to know I am one scary individual. When I finally was allowed to join as guest, there were already four Muslims on the panel. You see, you need to understand that it's way more fair if four Muslims debated Rob Christian at the same time, you know? I thought, hey, maybe these four Muslims can finally end my career just to stop me from exposing their false prophet day in, day out for so many years now. But let me tell you something. By watching this debate, you will understand why it's pointless to join a Muslim live stream because they cannot behave like adults. It will never be a civilized discussion the moment you destroy their lies and deception. The Muslims were using Surat Al-Kafirun, which is chapter 109, verse 6. For you is your religion, and for me is my religion. So when I confronted them regarding this abrogated verse and destroyed them in front of a large Muslim audience, they had no other option but to insult me and act as six-year-old children. They were jumping like a bunch of monkeys and acted exactly like their mother Aisha who was playing with dolls when Muhammad married her at the age of six. So watch what happened. Is it in the Quran? Okay. Can I get the screen so that what I can show you that it's abrogated? Because uh, you cannot what have a cake and eat it too, right? What does abrogation mean? Nasa khwan mansukh, yalla. Give me the screen. Because I, I will prove it here. Give me the screen, I will prove that it's abrogated. Look, here is Tafsir al baghawi for the ayah. Lakum deenakum wa liyadini. What does it say? Wa hadhihi al ayah mansukha bi ayat al saif. So why do you Muslims use it? Well, guess what? I don't care. Yeah, you don't care? <laughs> you don't care? Do you see how they act like silly children when they have no answers? This is exactly the only thing they can say or do when I destroy them in front of their own Muslim audience. I just destroy them one by one simply by using their own books against them. This is exactly how you mop the floor with such deceiving stone lickers who used abrogated verses to try to make Islam look peaceful. Well, according to their own scholars, chapter 9, ayah 5, abrogated peaceful verses like in Surah Al-Kafirun here. I really feel embarrassed for the Muslims who are watching their heroes without any mercy getting folded in half by me. You see how I just folded you in half, you liar? Stop using abrogated verses to deceive the masses. So the question is, why do Muslims use abrogated verses that are still in the Quran? The reason for that is because they are very weak now. There is no caliphate. So they will use abrogated verses and cry for peace until they become strong and have the upper hand. Then there is no need for peace anymore. They ask for peace when they are weak. But there is no peace when they are strong enough to fight you. This is the deception which they are using here in the West. Just to deceive you because they are outnumbered and weak. So you use abrogated verses to deceive people? Wait, 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 stop talking. Abrogated verses, guys, he's a joke. What does, what does abrogated mean? What's the definition of it, Robbie? Are you going to insult me by calling me Robbie now? Define it, Roberto. What does it mean? Let him explain. So you see, you see guys how they deceive people? The ayah is mansukha. وَهَذِهِ الْآيَةَ مَنْسُوخَ بِآيَةِ السَّيْفِ so it's it it's really it's really embarrassing that you guys need to deceive people by using an abrogated verse you see guys kids bunch of kids you see stay away from islam